Welcome to Mac Authentication Bypass. The purpose of this video is to introduce the Mac Authentication Bypass feature of the Telebs Optical LAN system and provide instruction on configuring it in Panorama. The topics covered in this training module include an introduction to Mac Authentication Bypass and setting the Mac Authentication Bypass configuration. Many enterprises and other secure installations use the 802.1x port authentication feature to control access to the Ethernet ports within a facility. The 802.1x protocol forces a user to authenticate using their credentials prior to getting access to a port. The user is typically authenticated using a back-end system such as Radius. For many intelligent devices that support 802.1x, this works well to secure the ports for use only by authorized parties. The problem is that there are simple devices such as printers and cameras that may not support 802.1x and back-end authorization. In order to handle these use cases, the feature of MAC Authentication Bypass or MAB is used. MAB uses the MAC address of an attached device to authenticate to the back-end AAA server. It should be noted that due to the fact that MACs can be easily spoofed by most PCs and other devices, MAB is a weak authentication protocol and as such should be paired with ACL's firewall rules and other mechanisms to ensure that proper security is maintained within the network. To configure MAB in Panorama, first the VLAN utilizing MAB typically is set up to be a default deny VLAN. Either extended default deny or basic default deny can be used. Extended is preferred as it allows more extensive filtering. This is required to prevent the unauthorized MAB clients from gaining access to the VLAN without first authenticating. The VLAN must be set up to be a dynamic VLAN to allow the use of the NAC profile. To enable MAB, you need to change the following settings in the NAC profile. MAC bypass should be set to enabled to turn on MAC Bypass. Startup delay defaults to 30 seconds to give standard 802.1x time to complete prior to MAB being attempted. Always best to let 802.1x be attempted first, but some devices may need a shorter time to speed up access to the network. Authentication method should be set to PAP if your RADIUS server is set up to accept PAP. PAE dynamic service needs to be enabled to trigger the authorization to RADIUS. Enabling filter ID implies that the service profile will be defined in the RADIUS filter ID attribute coming back to the OLT from RADIUS. This allows the service profile to be dynamically assigned based on the RADIUS group or user that is configured in RADIUS. The service profile must include an ACL profile with authorized MAX to ensure that the MAB client is permitted access to the VLAN once it is authorized. Maximum max is the maximum number of authorized clients per port. The profile can also be configured to assign the service profile by default VLANs as soon as the MAC is authorized by RADIUS. The service profile assigned is configured if RADIUS returns an access accept message and the contents of the message are ignored. The service profile may reference an ACL profile, which will permit authorized MACs. The PAE profile for the port can use the standard settings as shown here. To create this profile, simply create a new profile, name it, and save it using the default settings. As mentioned, you may create an authorized MAX permit filter so that the MAC, once authorized, will be allowed onto the network. To do this, create a new ACL profile. Add a new rule. The rule for authorized MACs is a basic permit filter. Make sure that this filter is in the source MAX list. Then save the rule. Then, save the ACL. This ACL can then be added 
to the service profile that is assigned by NAC. When a port that has MAB enabled receives any packet, then it will use the source MAC to create a RADIUS request with the MAC address as the user and password. MAB and 8021X can both be configured onto the port. The default settings will allow 802.1X to be tried first, followed by an attempt with MAB, using the device's MAC address. An entire site can be configured this way to allow the 802.1X or MAB devices to be plugged into any port on the OLT. This can also be used, for example, to authenticate phones that don't support 802.1x, but force PCs to authenticate. It should be noted that if multiple devices are attempting access on the same port, the 802.1x supplicants will always be given preference over MAB clients. Given the ease of MAC spoofing, it is best to only enable MAB on ports that require it. This concludes the module MAC Authentication Bypass. In this video, we have discussed an introduction to MAC Authentication Bypass and setting the MAC Authentication Bypass configuration.